Not gonna lie. Awesome. So, here we are in the room that I spent so much time trying to get into. The, uh... <clears throat> oh, words. The one that involves the chain whipping. The four philosophers have turned to stone to continue to protect the ruins. Uh, the one that involves the grapple claw jumping from the walls. Point to the right and right it shall go. Point to the left and left it shall go. Or just once and it shall reach thy hands. And that's a description of this next puzzle. Or not next puzzle. Hi, Pazuzu. Let me guess, your weak point is your head. Come on. Your fight is slightly easier this time around. Seeing as how you get rid of all the boxes you spawn. <laughs> or in this case, boulders. Come on. There we go. The Zuzu is dead. Holy crap, that's a lot of coins. Alright, this one's simple. This gets me the chain whip. And now, we warp to the Inferno Cavern and save our game. So, what does the chain whip do? Well, more damage, for one, and makes this cool little strange sound. Let's grail back to the surface. I'm gonna heal up, and we're gonna head to, uh, who knows where? No, really, I don't actually know where I'm gonna head. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I mean, Gate of Guidance, not the Gate of Guidance, uh, Gate of Illusions. That'd be a good place to go. Um. <clears throat> Tower of Ruin. Rune could be fun. Yeah, Temple of Sun. Stupid ball. <laughs> Those mantras are taunting me. Oh well. But yes, I finally managed to, just by chance, get myself into that room. Holy crap, this does a lot of damage. And if I remember correctly, there is still one more whip upgrade. And make no mistake, this is a whip upgrade. This is not another weapon entirely. You, you have no sway on me here, Anubis. And this should be to the Inferno Tower. Or, Tower of Ruin. Through the Chamber of Extinction? Or Chamber of Life, I forget which one's the backside. No, this is Graveyard of the Giants, okay. Well, I suppose this works. And if anything, I'm gonna go through the, to this one through the correct manner. Because this one's gonna be the quickest path to... Huh. That works. Quickest path to where I want to go. Because <clears throat> I guess I'm going to go to the Gate of Illusions. And putz around a bit there. Hmm. 
You had one job there, Lameza. One job. Um. Okay, I guess we're not going to the Gate of Illusions. I guess instead we're going to get ourselves spiked. Very painful. Let's see what this has to say. The meeting of a man and woman inside the van, the seed of life is born. Okay. I don't think I've ever been over this way. Right, let's see what's going on. See what's going on in this room. All right, listen here, you flying butt. I'm tired of you, and I'm tired of your your junk. There we go. Money can't buy. Oh, that's okay. That's talking about the silver shield. Did I just? Hit that thing twice in the same swing. What's in here? All the items are genuine. Grab them while you can. Yep, nope. They are actually not all genuine. In fact, one of them is uh, very fake. That would be that silver shield. You might wonder, how do I know that? Well, because, you know, I you have the damn real thing. Okay. <clears throat> well, this has been a fun... Oh, wait, right. Maintains momentum. It's been a fun little escapade. Alright. I know I can get to the Tower of Ruin. It does involve going to the Mausoleum of Giants. Or, Graveyard of Giants. And I'm getting close to being able to afford the new laptop upgrade. So I shall say that I am again recording this episode with uh, my or my streaming software instead of Fraps to see if I can reduce my overall uh, recording time and a few other things. So far, the answer is yes. Or recording time, rendering time. I've reduced my rendering time greatly, and I've reduced the file storage size overall. So I can start recording more, uh, more episodes in advance, and I don't have to worry about running out of hard drive space. Now, hold on. This is the way I want to go. I'm not dealing with you, Wizrobe. Because I want nothing to do with you. <clears throat> I'm trying to go this way. And I don't need to redo this pot. I hate the slippery surfaces, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. That's going to frustrate the daylights, or the living daylights out of me. <laughs> I still greatly enjoy the. the that's a thing I can do to, uh... To help myself get in here. Okay, I didn't hear... 
the destruction of uh, terrain. Hmm. Yeah, let's see what's over here in this room. Let's record this. There was a race that recorded their knowledge on the walls. This knowledge will operate in a mechanical box as a virtual wise man. Shall awaken a wise man should a wise man read the mural. Okay. Interesting. Also I wanted to see if this was a pod. Nope. Looks like it, but it's not. Okay, let's head over this way, because I can do this. A kind and mischievous spirit, a lonely and mischievous here. She means no harm with her mischief, no damage done by unintentional mischief. And that's sacred, so I'm not going to touch that. This place has sacred stuff in it, too. So let's head off. There's a Thunderbird. Oh, great bird, give us mercy. Will crushing that hand bring us mercy? Now let's head up again. <clears throat> okay, it is immune while it's got that up. Good to know. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave that be for now then, I guess. That is sacred. Okay, <clears throat> noted. Let's head to the surface so I don't die. something I very much I well I mean other than getting the the upgraded laptop there's a whole bunch of things that I'm interested in well come on I mean there's the earthen spear which is inside of the tower of ruins which I'm definitely interested in um, the katana the key sword um, the bombs I'm interested in all the other sub-weapons, uh, the upgraded, the last upgrade for the whip, which I think is in the Shrine of Mother. Um, Rosalino Giants. And... Just, honestly, I'm basically interested in everything in the game, still. So... But, I mean, those ones that I listed right now <coughs> are the most relevant and <coughs> easily accessible uh, ones right now, sans the final whip upgrade. Robe won't kill me. I say as I stab or get uh, impaled by Wiz Robe. Mm. 
Okay. Now for the death room. Hey, I did that with a lot less damage this time. No, stop zone transitioning. Axe, you are terrible at breaking things. over this way. Skanda, a large clay doll, the one who holds the golden key which soars through the skies. There it's Shadow Rat. Seems exceptionally dangerous. So why not try it? Oh, hey. Oh, that did something. Wait for that to re go all the way over, start retracting, and we're going to head down here. Same with this, start retracting, go on through, drop down, which gets me Earth Sphere. Okay. What's over here? Holy crap. <laughs> oh, I remember how I defeated the Thunderbird in uh, the non remake. Or the original. Okay. Well, this helps me. I think that's all I'm going to get out of here for now. So let's head to the surface. Uh, save, so I don't lose this progress. I forgot how much I love this game's music. Alright, are there any bosses at the moment that I haven't fought that I can? No. Hmm. Well, what do I want to do? I mean, there's a whole lot. I still have, I'd argue, roughly half the game left.
Yeah, let's go to the Temple of the Moon. Because I know that there is a... Uh, what shall we call it? Entrance there to the Gate of Illusion. Which I'd like to at least poke around in a bit there. Yay, lighting myself on fire. Through the door. Alright, and up we want to go. Without trying to kill myself. Which is a very useful feature. Is this the one that gets me in there? I don't remember. If it is, that's extremely useful. No, this is Twin Labyrinths. Harpies, I want nothing to do with you. I am tired of your crap already. Which means that the entrance I'm looking for is over this way. I like how you can break the walls of two-dimensional movement. Bats. What does this one say? Ancient Lombolonian. Eden. A paradise deep in the fog. Clear the fog and you will be surrounded by more happiness. Head for the tree of Eden with the fruit of paradise in hand. And this isn't what I was going for. I think I may have forgotten to do something. <clears throat> That's the Tree of Eden. That doesn't move. Also, this is really weird. Surprisingly not sacred. Okay. That was strange. Oh, I bet there's a puzzle involved that I didn't do. Well, I've accomplished a fair amount this episode. Two new weapons. Ah. Uh, and all that jazz, so we'll be back next time on Let's Play La Mulana. See you guys then.